inside the great Deku tree. And away we go. We went straight across before, however, if we head off to our left, okay, look at that, there's our prize right there. I think it's a Deku stick. Booyah. This is the first of many, many gold Skulltellas. Lots of cash prizes await us. No, just prizes. Some really cool stuff, though. Um, piece of heart. But one of the biggest things is the Stone of Agony. Um, had a different name in the 3DS version, but basically this allows you to, uh, your controller will vibrate when it's near some kind of secret. A lot of times there's a hole in the ground and it's, you can't see it, right? It's kind of cloaked, but like the Song of Storms or a bomb will expose that. But this allows you to see, if you will, um, hidden things. Now remember we got a gold skull tele before. There's a couple more down here, including right here. Using my slingshot. One, two. Booyah. Now all we have to do is climb on up and get it, and then it'll give us two total. Now, by pressing the start button inside this menu, right here in the quest status section of the subscreens, you can see it shows you how many you have. So if you ever want to check, that is where you check. Before, well, by the way, we fell down up there, okay? It's where we fell down from that big room up on uh, level one, okay? The multiple levels that we came in going up the tree trunk. When we fell into this water and we were up on that ledge right across there, well, we couldn't come over to the side yet. However, I showed you that gold skull tala. Well, now we can get it. I told you we'd do it in a moment. We're here. All right, so aiming. One, two. The only really graceful way to do this is to Z target that sucker. Okay, we don't have a boomerang. And I missed it, darn it. And you can actually kind of do sort of like a little jump off. Give me a second here. Climbing, oh, I said climbing please. Nope. There we go. Um, let me try and get a little closer. Z target. Here we go. There is no jump button, but in a way that action acts like a jump. I've had time travel on my mind a lot this past week. And Groundhog Day from Hell, which I guess is kind of an oxymoron. So, all right, check it out. Right there, end of this room in the right crate that I just destroyed is a gold skull Tella. And see, what does that give us now? Yeah, four. This, that's our fourth one. No, this is nothing groundbreaking or shattering, but when it, when the things that you love are taken away, the things that make you happy define who you are, and especially the things that, you, you know, let's just say I, I missed it. There's also a secret here as well. There's two secrets here. There's a spoilers. Uh, there's a there's a hidden hole. We'll get to that in a later installment. And then also at nighttime, I believe there's a gold skulltella in that tree. Only at night. Let's find out. Ah, some of these is kind of a, a lovely giveaway. They don't require nighttime to get them. This is one of them. Here we are in the village. Yep. There you are. Hi. Another gold skull Tella that gives us a grand total of seven. Excellent. No. Ah, it's the other crate. Okay. Got another one. There's two. Up to this big watchtower. Take out your slingshot and do that guy in. 
There's a little chime letting us know that he's now available for pickup. There we go. There's another one. This little, maybe what used to be a building or something. Foundation, some kind of frame or, anyway, brickwork. Right at the top of it, you can hear the guy from miles away. And another gold skull teller. That already gives us... I went the wrong way. Yep, there's ten. We do have ten. This is a house of, of Skulltulla. And what happens is... When the, when the curse has been broken, around the room, these, what used to be spider-cursed people, uh, become human again. And they give us a reward. In this case, boom. Adult wallet. That's our first prize. So now we can hold up to 200 rupees instead of what was only 99. Not bad. Pretty good reward for maximum effort. All right, there's another one. Got another one. Excellent. Okay. So. Playing the sun song. Right up behind this house, near the entrance. One of these guys is waiting for us. And what is that, 11? 12, okay, cool. This kind of thing, right, these soft soil spots, you actually revisit them more than once, okay? This time, of course, we are using the bugs to now get uh, Gold Skull Tullas at night. However, you return there in the future. And I said, let's grab them. There's bugs. You release bugs. A lot of times, a lot of times they're under, oh shoot, stop. They're under rocks. No, stop. And then sometimes they're actually, when you cut down grass, uh, that's where they are, so. All right, because there's one right up here. Here it is. Okay. Nighttime. Bottle. Bugs. That little chime lets us know that we're on the path to something good here. Hello. Nice. Then I believe left. Yep, to get back to where we were. I'm not going to mess around with these guys this time. There's our chime. They're still trying to peg me over there. And there's our gold skull tower. bugs in our bottle both bottles because as I showed you on the way in that right back here behind the store is another spot a chump. Alright, that gives us 15. Okay. Alright, so it's night time. And by the way, right up here, can't get it just yet. I can shoot it, but without the boomerang, I can't get that gold skull tella. But he's waiting there for us. And you'll hear him at night time. So, another thing that you make another round, you come back around, and you get a prize that's now obtainable with whatever new weapon and or tool that we get along the way. However, this one doesn't require. 
so. There you go. Another gold skull tunnel. Nice. Worth the trip. As we claw our way towards 20, which is the next point in which we get a a prize for our efforts in the House of Skultella. Right up here. Is another chance to get some more. Alright, remember, sometimes they're under rocks. This is one of those cases. So, picking up that rock right outside the graveyard, uh, you can actually capture yourself some bugs. So now I have two bottles worth. For now, I really only need one. So we can get this right here. Yeah, I hear you. All right, so here we go. This is Gerudo Valley. Now, there is a Skulltella right here to the right, next to that little waterfall. However, without the boomerang, we can't quite get that yet. Ah, oh, she's blocking the way. Okay. Of course she is. All right. There is, there are things that we can do here though. Hey, come here, come here. All right, thank you, buddy. Let's see, I believe it's this right side. Yeah, this is one of them. All right, here we go. Soaring off. Uh, did I, I, did I launch from the wrong place? All right, changing, changing directions here. I tried to do a roll there. Didn't work. All right. Sun song. Because we need to be nighttime. Using our bugs. There you go. Takes us right to Lake Hylia. Right, here we go. There's our chime. That is number 19. Yep. Number 19. Dodongo's Cavern. I really love the sounds in Wind Waker. Yup, yup. You know the little sounds he makes as he, um, as Link tries to do the same kind of thing. All right, so guess what? A couple of old baddies here. Remember these guys, of course, but we have one more up here that we're going to get. Hey, well, would you look at that? That chime means that our prize is ready. And we got another gold skull tala. Beautiful. Where are we at? We're at 20. It's That's the next thing that we need to get. There is a place right here with our bomb bag. We can now use one of those bombs for the first time. I pressed that yellow button where we mapped it. Boom. Okay, duh. We used it to light up the, the eye sockets, didn't we? But. Gold Skulltala. 
hiding right there. Let's get the heck up. We uh, we got what we needed. I just want to blow that, kill the uh, the Skulltella, and then we move on. Because we have enough now to get ourselves the next prize. And there he is. The curse has been broken. Thank you. And here's the reward. And there it is. The Stone of Agony. Back in the old days, of course, we had what was called a Rumble Pack. And if you played the original you know, Nintendo 64 version, you remember that giant pack, couple of AA batteries in it. It's basically a, uh, a rumble, it vibrated. And uh, now it's built into this controller. But uh, that's why the icon looks like that, right? Um, so, yeah, it, it's called the Stone of Agony. And what that does is when we're near a secret, um, it will alert us. For instance, various holes in the ground. Uh, there's one right out here. If I walk right over here. Yep. Can you guys hear that? Anyway, uh, my controller is vibrating right now. I'm not going to open that hole yet. I could bomb it, however. Uh, there's a gold rupee down there. I don't need it. I have enough rupees at the moment. However... When we go to buy some magic beans, and I want to get a lot more rupees to buy more magic beans, great place to go back and get 200 more. So that's what I can do. But for now, we have a couple goodies to get up here on the old trail. First one is right here. Oh, <laughs> I did it again. And we'll take two. All right, there we go. All right, in here, believe it or not, this is a wall that you can climb. First things first, though, we gotta wipe this guy out. And then we'll claim our prize. There we go. All right, oh yeah, meanwhile, I got this jerk wide behind me. Get out of here. All right. Yeah, it doesn't look like it. Looks like a regular wall. But it's a it's a climbable wall. And giving us another gold skull tall. Very nice. All right, heading back up the trail. I have some bugs ready. Because last time we blew this boulder. If you haven't seen it yet, the, the last installment, we went into Dundango's Cavern, right down this, this little uh, hallway here. And um, when we blew that boulder, the soft soil spot. Hey, I got to thank you. One of my new subscribers wrote me, schooling me, which I love. He's like, hey, dude, uh, you don't. Ha it doesn't have to be nighttime for the soft soil spot Gold Skull Tullus. So thank you, bud. I never claimed to be the all-consuming expert in this game. No. No. I don't know it all. Even after all these years. Um, assumptions are made, but you know what? I play the game because I love the game. And just like you guys. And therefore, yeah, I don't claim to know everything. And that's why I love, after all of these years, we can still share with each other. Uh, tell each other things that we might not know. Secrets. Silly things that we assumed along the way. Like that one. So anyway, I thank you guys, man. Your comments are incredible. <laughs> Talk about a waste, right? Yeah. Yeah. So glad I got that 50 right there. We got the gold skull Tulla, and in that little alcove there, we have, by the way, you can blow these boulders, giving us access to, you could also use these tight ropes over there, but this gives us access to a little sub area here. Now that we have bombs, we can kind of bomb our way through. I'm trying to remember which way to go. Kind of think it's, no, it's not straight. It's right here. Um, for now, we can take care of these kind of brown colored boulders and that was a lovely waste as I'm running low on bombs you gotta love it here we go and it's this way yep we're blowing our way to the back of the room here I want to say again I do all this from memory um, 
sometimes it serves me, sometimes it doesn't. It, it did that time. Nice. Okay. Yep. <laughs> well, that's not why we're here. Okay, yeah, thank you. Yeah. Meaning, I didn't there. That's, that's why we're here. I didn't need the rupees. But, oh, yes, I love it when we're low on hearts. Such good stuff. Very hot place. Later on, we'll have the Goron Tunic, which will, of course, be heat and fire resistant. However, for now, we do have a, a lovely timer. And with this timer, there is just enough time to grab this. There's a crate right inside. Okay, so first things first. Mr. Owl's waiting for us, of course. Looks like you've gotten bigger and stronger already, Link. Just ahead lies Zora's domain. The Zoras have served the royal family to protecting this water source. Their door will not open for anyone except those who have connection with the royal family. Let them hear the melody of the royal family. Yes, sir. Alright. Tree. If I could actually... <laughs> yeah, here we go, right? That's what I wanted. Hello. And we got another one. By the way, now that it's nighttime, on the ladder. Another gold skull tall. Okay. Zora's Fountain. Now I'm pretty sure there's actually something that we can do before we enter the beast. You can actually run along this right here. You don't have to swim all the way. Yeah, there is a there's a a fairy fountain right there, but we can't get it with the. Um, There is a gold skull teller, though. Wait, that's... What you want to do first is toss her up there like that, and then... What you don't want... Because this, this, this button right here activates this water level and, and raises it. Well, we can't carry her across... Gold skull tall. Uh, we can't carry her across when, um... Oh, I already got a bottle. Cool. Here we go. Got a fairy. Nice. If you re recall, in this main room, there was one spot... I want to say it's... No, it's not this one. I think it's this one. I hope it's this one. All right. Remember what we said earlier? Lock on. Boomerang. Brings us a gold skull teller. Nice. All right. So, again, checking out our map. Yeah, there are two rooms off of here. I can hear that sucker from across the way. Another Skulltella. If you remember earlier, I, uh, I jumped off with Princess Ruto and we fell back down. Well, this is what I saw, right? And kind of my uh, exuberance for the moment. I'm like, oh, yeah, I know that area. No, no, it was too early for it. But bringing a crate from the other side, like you just saw, we can hold down that switch. Since we do not have Princess Ruto with us, we um, I'm going to snipe these guys out. There we go. Um, 
Love the boomerang. Oh, it's such good stuff. There we go. Ah, oh, this makes life so much easier. Okay. So yeah, since we don't have Princess Ruto, we need to use a crate uh, to hold down one of those switches that requires holding down. So, uh, check it out on the wall. Another one. This one we can actually just climb for. Because we're going up here anyway. Alright, here we go, guys. We are in Zora's Fountain right now. And as you know, last time we beat the uh, big baronade inside of uh, Lord Jabu Jabu. Well, right up here on the wall, since we now have the boomerang, and uh, we can actually target this sucker, at night there is a gold skull toa sitting right here. It's, it's right off a log. It, when you're facing Jabu Jabu, it is, um, it is to the right, and then it comes out over the water, and there's a gold skull teller right there on the wall. As you can see, I'm going to work my way back right now. You can kind of see where I just was standing. All right, so dropping down into the drink. Should be right over here. Oh, yay. We gotta do this. Okay. Alright. You remember this room? We dive down. We trigger the button. And then we gotta book it back so we can get a, and hop a ride while the water level is slightly lower. And nice. That timing worked out well. Okay, we're here. I didn't, I was just trying to take out my sword and I accidentally hit him. All right. And wipe him out. You guys doing all right? I hope so. We're going to get to that temple of time soon enough. All right, so. Let's see, is this the room? This is... Not the room. Okay. They tend to look similar. Moving on. Okay, this should be the room. Darn it, I meant to... I thought I could slip by. Would you stop? Should have killed him. All right. It should be right here. <laughs> right as in the other way. All right, here we go. Come on, wipe out that dude. Okay, so what happened is we just blew that wall... Which gains us access to here. I can hear the gold skull tell it already. Come on, spin around, dude. And it's right up here on the wall. That's this is why we're here. Again, with the boomerang. After that, you can Z-target it, use the boomerang, and we got another one. Which brings our total count up to 34 at the moment. Okay. Yeah, it's still nighttime. I can still hear the, uh, the crows ca- oh, shoot, cawing. All right. Right up here on the wall. If you recall, uh, w one of the earlier episodes- shoot. All right. There we go. Um... It was really annoying hearing this, that guy right there. See this skull tell out there? Annoying hearing him and not being able to get him. So, we're doing that now. Two hits. Z target. Or try to Z target. There you go. And we got it. Cool. Now, I believe in the back south west corner of the property, there is also one more Skulltala on uh, high up on a wall. Again, if memory serves, right? We're about to find out. Yeah, there it is. All right. 
see the big tower right there. That's where we got that piece of heart by moving around the milk crates in the earlier episode. But now this is available to us because we have the boomerang. C target. And that bloody crow hurt me. Oh, you little punk. Give me a heart. Give me a heart. Oh, you did. There it is. I think that's it right there. All right, let's get our bombs out. At least I don't. I don't think this is Song of Storms. Yep, it's vibrating. And there it is. I love how it blows up the little rocks, right? Revealing some goodies, extra little goodies inside. Okay, here we go. All right, this is a great little place for the first time. We're gonna use Din's Fire. And what that's gonna do is, it should be a big enough blast to uh, burn away all these these uh, spider webs. These yeah, there we go. Nice, okay. Meanwhile, uh, check it. Oh, he didn't launch. I love it when they launch, okay. Oh, hello, Mr. Cow. And there's some bugs. All right, right up there. That's why we're here. Z target. And we got another one. Easy peasy. <laughs> it's a pri. All right, so playing the sun song. Why do we do that? So we can actually see what we're here to get. There it is right there. Gold Skull Tala again. Now is accessible because we have the boomerang. Z target. There we go. Nice. My goodness, what do we just, we just got like five or six more? Yeah. All right, so we're up to 38. And that's an example, right? I should have, had I waited two, three, you know, we're going here anyway, but had I waited a couple, three more seconds, um, yeah, that wouldn't have happened. All right, time is moving, crap. You know what that, hey, watch this, check this out. This is gonna be cool. Time is moving, sun's coming up, and if I don't hurry, he will literally disappear on us. Like that. Let's make it nighttime again. So right, we're we're using that Kuko to get to that ledge to plant the magic bean. All right. In a previous episode, you know that we used the bugs to get a Skulltulla there, and there's another one by the way on the Lakeside Laboratory. We got that. Meanwhile, we have a magic bean, and guess what? That's why we're here. Very nice. Oh, guess who's here? Oh, good. He's going to leave me alone. All right. When we have the hook shot in the future, long shot, you can usually get to the top of this tree right before us here. And there is a gold skull tulla up there. Also, in the future, we can shoot an arrow off of this little island. And as the sun's coming up, that's how you get the fire arrows. But, yeah, that's why... Thank you for coming with me. Um, that's why we're here. This right here. Meanwhile, again, the sun's coming up. But we got it just in time. Nice. Okay. Another one. That is... We're up to 40. Yay! We got some new prizes waiting for us, guys. Because the last time we cashed in was at 20. Alright? And we just doubled that. So... We need to go back to the house of Skulltulla, don't we? It should be just beyond. See, there's a lot of places that are now accessible to us. And 
with bombs, okay? Bombs are what blow. Yeah, okay, my my controller's vibrating. Shard of agony. Alright, so dropping a bomb. And also took care of those guys. Two for one special. And down we go. Okay. There it is right there. That's why we're here, people. Oh. Alright, he's out of the way. He will not bother us again. Thank you for the heart. And right up there is why we're here. Z target. Boomerang. Got another gold Skulltella. Nice. Back right corner? Is how I describe it, I guess? Uh, this way. Right up here in this wall. Using a boomerang. And actually try to hit it this time. One. Two. Z target. Retrieve. Nice. We can head straight back there and collect two more. And this is the house of Skull Teller right here. All right. Yeah, there's the first one. I believe that's the second one. And let's talk to this guy. The curse has been broken. Thank you. Here's a reward. And now we got Bomba Chews. Nice. And then here's another one. Curse has been broken. Here's your reward. You are welcome, sir. And check it out, guys. Giant's wallet. That, that's, the, that's the money right there. Literally. Um, we can now hold up to 500. Um, before, you know, we went from 99 to 200. Now we're at 5. So, worth it. Worth it. Um, especially as an adult. And, yeah, it's totally worth it, so...